What is up everyone, Alex here with another champion skin tier list, this time on Teemo the Swift Scout. So with Valentine's Day having just passed us by, I wanted to do a tier list on a champion that is just absolutely universally beloved by everyone. So I picked Teemo. If there's one thing this community can all agree on, it is that Teemo is absolutely adored. He's not toxic at all. I know for a fact that whenever he shows up top lane, both people are going to have a completely fair lane where everyone feels good, everyone's gonna be happy, and everyone's gonna get out of lane feeling like it wasn't that bad. All right, all right, I can't eat up my entire sarcasm quota on just the intro, especially because this is probably going to be one of the more monstrous sized videos I ever do. Because Teemo has a grand total of 14 skins, including his base model. 15 if you want to include the Wild Rift exclusive Hexplorer skin. But because I'm personally just talking about League of Legends alone here, and I have integrity, we won't be including that one. Also, yes, because I'm lazy and I like to cut corners where I can. 14 skins, guys, come on, please just give me this one. Now, I'm going to get to the skins here in a second, because we need to talk about Teemo's lore real quick. Because it's actually insane. So Teemo is this cheerful, chipper yordle who's everyone's best friend. Yeah, here's the thing though. So when it comes to missions, Teemo flips a switch in his mind so he won't be burdened by the lives he's forced to take. Now you might be saying to yourself, Alex, that sounds a little dramatic. You, you gotta be kidding me here. That is me lifting that sentence word for word from Teemo's biography. This Yordle, despite that cheery smile he has on in almost all of his splash arts, is a truly dangerous individual. He is incredibly divisive in the community. And he also happens to be one of Riot's flagship mascot characters, made apparent in both marketing, merchandise, and the fact that February 21st is National Teemo Day. So yeah, we're doing some extra relevance on this video because that is coming up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I don't have a good transition for saying that, but I get a free dose of dopamine whenever one of you clicks that subscribe button. So please, I can't afford antidepressants because I live in America and our healthcare system is a joke. Back to making the skin tier list though. In order of release, Timo's skins include his original skin, Happy Elf, Recon, Badger, Astronaut, Cottontail, Super Teemo, Panda, Omega Squad, Little Devil, Bemo, Spirit Blossom, and the Prestige version of Spirit Blossom, and last but not least, Firecracker being his newest skin as of me making this video. Now, my usual formula is talking about the base skin first, and I'd hate to go outside my comfort zone here, so we're gonna start there. Now, Teemo did me an incredibly huge service here today especially with how many damn skins this rat has, is that he has a rather simple model as well as pretty simple effects, so we're going to be able to get through a lot of his entries with a lot of speed and efficiency. Which, thank you Teemo, thank you so much. That is so incredibly nice of you. Now we actually see that pretty quick here with his model. He just has the blowpipe to worry about, a backpack full of what looks like maps or charts, and a iconic hat, and that basically makes Teemo. His adorableness is what makes him basically a mascot character of League of Legends. He's not really a character, he's a mascot, kind of like a less iconic Pikachu, I guess. League of Legends may be popular, but it's just like so many other franchises in the world, will never even come remotely close to the impact Pokemon has had. As far as effects on his abilities go, his Q is just a purple projectile that blinds his target, his W just makes him move faster, his auto attacks are just darts, and his E just adds some slight green venom particles to them, and his ulti being one of the least flashy and yet most iconic ultimates in the entire game, his shrooms. Now, if I had to poll 100 people and ask them what is the most annoying thing about Teemo, I would bet folding money that the number one answer on the board would be the shrooms. They go invisible. If Teemo builds AP, they can do some significant damage. They have a crippling slow to them and their area of effect, so you can yell at your buddy on Discord when he steps on one and kills you because of it. That last one might be a bit personal, if I'm being honest. Teemo also saves me a bit with his passive because all it does is make him go invisible. Super simple, so I don't really have to talk about it much. His joke is him saying that size doesn't mean everything. It would have been a little funnier if he had said size matters not, kind of like as a Yoda reference, but whatever. His taunt is a warning to never underestimate the power of the scout's code, which is fair because Teemo uses the scout's code to murder people on a basically daily basis. 
He has trouble forming relationships with people too. When are we getting the Timo serial killer documentary, Netflix? You already did Arcane, give me something daring. We all wanna see it. His recall just kinda has him standing there, tapping his blowgun, and his dance is a reference to the iconic Badger video, which you'll know really well if you've been on the internet for a while. As usual, the first entry is usually the longest because I have to talk about everything. That way I can compare and contrast with the other skins, and also, as usual, this skin is gonna go in the C tier as a baseline, which is just kinda par for the course. Now that we have our baseline, we can really dive in and get started, because future Alex editing all this is looking at how long the video is and weeping openly, but he can cry on his own time. First skin we're gonna talk about is the Happy Elf Teemo skin. It costs 520 RP. It is a legacy skin. It's made available around Christmas time and was released on the exact same day as his recon skin. Now, I have a feeling that this entry and the next two, we're gonna be doing what I'm gonna call lightning rounds because this one is basically just a 520 RP cost to get a different hat. Riot taking a page out of Team Fortress 2's book. Beyond that, however, this skin does absolutely nothing else. No new effects, no new visuals, no new animations, nothing beyond a slight costume change for 520 RP. I'm just not a huge fan of it, and I think this skin is gonna go in D tier. I am sorry if you like it, I just sort of don't. Oops. Might have to do with not enjoying Christmas too much, but that seems a little cynical. Next one up is Recon Timo. Another 520 RP cost legacy skin. Now, legacy wise, this one is a little weirder to talk about because it doesn't have a standard time of the year that it's gonna come out no matter what. You can basically get it exclusively out of a chest or an ore or something similar to that. Now, Riot does occasionally break legacy skins out of the vault for whatever reason they decide, but you can't really rely on that. Do you remember when I said lightning rounds? Well, this one is also going to be a lightning round. It has a cute little splash art, but other than this, it's basically an expensive chroma that gives Timo a more camouflaged look to his clothes, and that's about it. Nothing new to report here effect-wise or animation-wise. God, I love lightning rounds. This is awesome. As for placement, I think I gotta put this one in D tier as well. I'm gonna set it above the Happy Elf Timo. And it's literally just because I like the splash art a little more. Sometimes that's all it takes though. I told you guys, lightning speed. Next movie, lightning round. The last entry of our lightning rounds is gonna be Teemo's Badger skin, another 520 RP cost legacy skin in the same vein as the recon skin in that you can only get this one out of a chest or an orb. Keeping with the similarities as the recon skin, it really does kinda just act like a more expensive chroma, but it has the benefit of making Teemo look extra cute because he's a badger now, and we're obviously talking about European badgers here and not American badgers, as you can see. And also, the Badger video I mentioned before, obviously, this stays in line with that and is an obvious reference or homage, whatever you prefer. So when it comes to these three really simple legacy skins that I did the lightning round thing for, I think this one is easily the best out of those three. I even like the color changes to his hat and clothes more with this skin. The gold hat, silver feather on it with the purple lenses on his goggle, they, it all works for me. Despite how much I like it, it really does remain a more expensive chroma, and it's a legacy skin, making it a bitch to get. So I think C tier makes sense. I'm actually gonna set it ahead of Teemo's base skin though. All right, we finally get to a skin that's not just a recolor of his base look with Teemo's astronaut skin. It costs 1350 RP. Now, this skin has a lot to it, obviously. The model has him in a white spacesuit. He also has a chroma, giving him a black one with reddish accents, but I think the clunky, classic looking spacesuit looks best personally. Although how he's not getting violently sucked into the void because his helmet is open is beyond me. He also runs around with a space taser instead of a blowgun, and my bad, did I say run around? Because actually with this skin, Teemo is in a constant state of lesser gravity. He floats around when left idle, and while he moves around, he just kind of floats as if he doesn't give a care in the world. His auto attacks have been replaced with lasers of varying colors, blue if you don't have any points in your E, red once you take some points in your E, and purple for his blinding dart. His W may stop him from floating while moving, but it does leave a trail of moon rocks behind him as if he's just sprinting around on the moon. And instead of mushrooms, his ultimate lets him leave a trail of satellites that have a constant scanning animation to them. He gets a new voice filter to the skin that sounds like he's really trying to contact us from the moon over some sort of ancient staticky sounding radio. 
The skin only has one chroma to it that I mentioned before, and it is an event-specific chrono chroma. But as I mentioned, I just personally like the white spacesuit a little more. As far as animations go, nothing new to talk about other than a recall which has Teemo doing some zero gravity backflips. So now we have to talk about where to place the skin, and this is probably going to be the hottest take of the video, but it is my tier list. This is going to be our S tier. Now before people complain, remember that the S tier is just saved for my own personal favorite and there's only ever one in all my videos. A tier skins are basically the same as S tier, I just think this one is my own favorite. Okay, I'm done irrationally justifying my pick. By all means, you're welcome to tell me your own favorite or tell me why I'm wrong and dumb. Up to you. The next skin that we're going to talk about is Teemo's Cottontail skin. It costs 975 RP. And this is one of Teemo's what I would call maximum tilt skins. And here's why. Picture this. You're going top lane against a Teemo using this skin, and he proceeds to dumpster you. And you just know that little bastard is going to be flashing Mastery 15 or spam laughing every two seconds. If that happens to you, and you don't want to chuck your monitor against a wall, then you've got some serious willpower. There is something really unnerving about seeing Teemo, who let me remind you, is a sociopath wearing a bunny onesie running around killing people. Sure, he's adorable, and there's absolutely a stuffed animal version of this skin out there somewhere because it's Teemo in a bunny rabbit onesie. He also has a basket of eggs on his back because, obviously, it has to be an Easter reference. Strangely enough, it's not a legacy skin or anything. The skin is available for purchase all through the year. As for effect changes, his darts get changed to carrots, and while moving, he actually hops around. If he uses his W, he hops around faster while leaving eggs behind him. His shrooms are also now vividly painted Easter eggs that explode with some vibrant shades of color. The skin does get some pretty great chromas with different colored rabbit onesies for him to choose from. The one called Speckled is the best, but only because it reminds me of a friend's pet rabbit. His name is Hershey. He's pretty great. Now, where to rank this skin, I think it actually has to go in A tier. The skin has a lot going for it, and better than that, it gives you an actual in-game advantage in that it is tilting as fuck. And also, apparently using his taunt is global with this skin, according to the wiki anyway. Like I said, a lot of these skins are pretty easy and quick to talk about, so we're already going to be moving on. Next up, we have Super Teemo, another 975 RP cost skin, and is part of the Silver Age skin line, which is a bunch of skins paying homage to various superheroes and villains. Super Teemo, in particular, is obviously referencing Superman with the blue and red spandex with the cape. But two issues right out the gate. First, Teemo's lore strikes me as a little more fitting as a villain, or at least an anti-hero. Give me a Punisher version of Teemo, am I right? That one makes a lot more sense to me. And secondly, Superman doesn't wear a mask. Super Teemo, on the other hand, does. Way to go for the authenticity, Riot. Nitpicks aside, I actually like the skin, but I'm a superhero nerd, so that's to be expected. Unfortunately, just because I like the overall theme of the skin, as far as effect changes go, it's a little disappointing. He doesn't have any new animations here, not even a new recall, let alone changes to his dance, joke, or taunt, which... To be fair, we haven't seen much changes to those so far anyway. Nothing new happens to his autos or his blinding dart. His mushrooms get changed into what looks like a superhero badge or like an emblem, something like that. Now, his W ability does get changed slightly so that Teemo flies around with a little superhero chime thing going on and then a whooshing noise to accompany it. I think I gave up on the lightning rounds a little too quick because some of these are literally flying by, and that's great because I think after this entry we've hit the halfway point. Unless League of Legends skins get more complicated as time goes on and I'll have more to talk about with the future entries. Shit. Anyway, I think the concept of this skin carries it more than the actual skin itself, but it does enough that I think it gets to land in B tier. To be fair though, I think Badger looks better than this one overall, but since Badger is only just a recolor, unfortunately, it has to get ranked below this, in my opinion anyway. I'm just kind of explaining the placements a little better before people get mad. Next up, we have Panda Teemo, costs 975 RP, and it fills a similar role to Cottontail Teemo in that you take a Teemo, who is a murderous sociopath, and you put him in a onesie, this time being a panda bear, for maximum tilt. They even made his dart gun a stick of bamboo, and his backpack is, well, also made of bamboo. If there's one thing the world wants you to remember, is that pandas and bamboo go hand in hand. 
So this is a skin that celebrates a Chinese holiday, but instead of celebrating the Lunar New Year, which we see a lot of those skins crop up, this one actually celebrates the Dragon Boat Festival. Admittedly, all I know about this myself is that it has to do with the fifth day of the fifth month of the Chinese calendar, and that this is a particularly unlucky date in time and people have rituals to mitigate that bad luck feeling. But we're talking about Teemo skins. As far as this one goes, it's essentially just a model change. Have you ever wanted to play Teemo while he's wearing a panda onesie? Well then fantastic, because that's about all this skin is. He doesn't exactly get any new animations with anything here, and as far as effect changes go, all we get to work with is really just his mushrooms changing. And unless you look up what they are, like, I just had to, you're very unlikely to know exactly what they've changed into. They're called Zongji, and I'm gonna put the word up just so in case I butchered that pronunciation, you can actually look it up for yourself. They're basically rice balls, but instead of seaweed, you use bamboo leaves to wrap them up. They sound good, I'd at least try them, and these are traditionally eaten around the time of the Dragon Boat Festival, tying it in with the overall theme of the skin. Outside of that, we don't really have much to talk about here. It doesn't do much. It is worth noting that the skin is particularly good at tilting the hell out of people with his global taunt, because if you're getting stomped by a Teemo who's using the skin, you're probably going to have to take 10 minutes, walk away from the computer, deep breaths, pace a little bit, maybe get some fresh air, all that sort of stuff. I think the skin is going to go in B tier right behind Super Teemo. It just doesn't have enough changes to it for me to, to place it any higher. It's not bad by any means, I just think it's kind of basic is all. Next up is Teemo's one and only legendary skin, Omega Squad Teemo. Obviously, the price is going to be 820 RP, and I gotta say a surprising amount of self-restraint on Riot's part that this is his only legendary skin so far. You would think, with him being a mascot character and all, he'd get more of those so Riot can really make some money off the fact that people enjoy Teemo. Well, half the community enjoys Teemo. A little less than half of the community enjoys whatever. So the concept for this skin is, in my opinion, fantastic because you really let Teemo cut loose and just really embrace his homicidal tendencies. Now, this is, of course, Teemo's obligatory edgy skin. Every single champion has to have one, so here we are. Even the little lore blurb that you get with every skin is incredibly edgy. It states that Teemo always remembers two things. Nobody is innocent and always settle your scores. Like, who in the hell follows a code like this? It's insane. And makes Teemo seem like your conspiracy theorist uncle who lives in the woods with a shotgun blaming the government for everything. And then one-ups his craziness by doing something stupid like invading the capital building of your country, trying to overturn democracy. You know, the uncle who's waiting for his court date at the moment and the rest of the family isn't talking to him? Yeah, that uncle. So Timo dons a new helmet and what looks like a gas mask as well as a hood and cloak. His blowgun gets turned into what looks like a suppressed version of it with a laser sight on it, as if Timo's auto attack range warrants that. His auto attacks don't get changed very much aside from the sound they make. They make it sound like he's firing a silenced pistol or something. When he stays still long enough that his passive kicks in, he draws a knife and takes a combat stance. When he uses his W, he like trucks forward. It makes it look like Teemo's kind of bulky, kind of like he's been drinking his protein shakes or something. If you remember that knife I just mentioned, that's his blinding dart now. He just chucks it at people, going straight for their eyes, apparently. <laughs> what a little monster. His shrooms now become landmines just chock full of poisonous gas. We also get a whole host of new animations. His joke and taunt are now different with him sounding angrier and more violent in both. His joke has him talking to some sort of inanimate object. I can't actually tell, and this is a pretty obvious reference to Castaway and Wilson the Volleyball. It also speaks to Timo's mental state, because as far as having mental breakdowns go, Timo is over here winning the gold at it. So you know lighthearted things, like League of Legends dances go? Well, we can't have any of that here. Instead, Timo creates a bar out of his blowgun and then does one-armed pull-ups on it, Obviously, somebody's been drinking their protein sh- Oh, wait, I already made that joke. Never mind. I don't mention them often, but the skin has a unique death and respawn animation. The death one is just kind of whatever, but when he spawns, he rolls into the fountain and you can hear the sound effect of his laser sight turning on. He gets a new recall with a helicopter giving him an extraction to his fountain, but if you're asking me, 
A real Omega Squad Scout stays in the wild, slicing off as many ears for trophies as he can before he finally drops. So Chromas, as the skin gets three of them, they're actually pretty good. I like the Obsidian and Pearl ones personally, but Sandstone, Sandstorm, I actually don't remember, is actually also quite good. As for placement on the tier list, I think it goes without saying that this has to go at the top of A tier. Legendary skins tend to be really difficult to compete with. Shocker, I know. Now, as far as nitpicks go, the only thing I really found that people complain about while researching is that apparently it's really easy to accidentally cancel your auto attacks on this skin. Now, I don't really like to take things like this in consideration for my tier list, so it's not going to affect the placement at all, but I do still think I wanna at least mention it in case somebody is watching this video trying to figure out what Teemo skin to buy, that might be something you wanna factor in. The next skin up we have is Little Satan Teemo. Now, the skin's actually called Little Devil Teemo, but calling him Satan feels more impactful. It costs 1350 RP because it's a more modern skin, and that splash art alone already makes a really strong impression. Teemo being all smug with a crown on his head, sitting on his throne as the world burns around him. Again, what a little monster. Personally, my favorite thing about the model with this skin is the fiery crown he has floating above him at all times, but he's also red now with horns and a tail. And instead of a crappy blowgun, he gets a pitchfork that launches little fiery darts with his blinding dart being a three-pronged version that has an extra little visual to it when it blinds. I love that Teemo doesn't even try to hide his evil with this skin anymore because his shrooms are now just little orbs grinning with malice, and when they explode, a shadow emerges that almost looks like they're laughing at you, which just adds to the salt levels because nobody, and I do mean nobody, enjoys stepping on a Teemo shroom. Unless you do it knowing it's there, and it's to kill your low health teammate backing next to you because bitch smited my cannon minion 20 minutes ago. Okay. Okay, maybe that last one isn't necessarily universal, but still. His recall has him dancing in a circle of flames before opening a portal to hell underneath him, and he starts laughing maniacally, and he gets this look on his face that is just some serious nightmare fuel. Now, for these videos, I never quite sync up my footage with the script, because then we'd go back to when I made a video once a month, because that is some tedious shit, not gonna lie. So the footage of his recall has more than likely passed already, but lucky for us, there's an emote that shows Teemo's devil laugh, and here it is. Oh, okay, okay, can we take it down? I'd actually like to get some sleep tonight. No new dance, laugh, or joke here, but what we do have is a new death animation that has him being sucked into that portal to hell while making the scary devil face like, ah! Okay, okay, make it go away, please. <clears throat> okay, I feel a little better now. Anyway, this skin goes in A tier. It's really good. I'm gonna place it between Omega Squad and Cottontail. That's how good it is. Guys, I fucking love Bemo. This skin is so good, it makes me almost want to have a second S tier slot, but I have to stick to my arbitrary rules, so let's get started with Bemo. It's a 1350 RP cost skin with him dressed as a little bumblebee, and the hood of the outfit has a little face on it, and because the skin has chromas, not only does it change the color of his bee onesie, but it changes the little face on the hood, and honestly, they are all winners, they all look fantastic in so many ways. This is another Teemo skin that I would say is kind of tilting. You don't want to lose to this thing. Your friends are going to laugh at you over voice chat for sure. New effects include globs of honey instead of his darts, and his blinding dart is a big old bumblebee. Even when his stealth passive kicks in, a couple bees float around him. His W active has him just kind of float around accompanied by a buzzing noise. This really reminds me of my favorite power up from Super Mario Galaxy, the B power up. It's also the best power up in that entire game. I will die on this hill probably alone. His shrooms are replaced with a beehive that when triggered explodes with a big burst of honey and bees. Predictable, sure, but it looks really great. It's a good visual. His recall has him float around three flowers, with each flower having a bee on them, and then he quickly conducts them with his weapon. Kind of reminds me of that side mission in Ocarina of Time where you have to play a song with the frog. Sorry guys, I have ADHD and my brain wanders a lot. Usually, funnily enough, to Disney and Nintendo stuff. Who would have thought? Another good thing about the skin is apparently the different chromas with the skin change the color of the flowers on the recall. It's a nice bit of polish that you typically won't see that often with skins, or chromas for that matter. 
This skin even gets a home guard animation with Teemo flying around. Shit, do I change my entire tier list to make this one the S tier? No, 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 no. But you guys have no idea how close I actually came to considering that. Seriously, I almost switched them up before I finished voicing this. So it's obviously going to go to the very top of A tier. If I didn't have the whole only one S tier per tier list rule, it would be sitting right next to Astronaut Teemo. Personally, Astronaut Teemo, I'm just really nostalgic for it, and I like how smooth the auto attacks feel with it. So I think I'm going to start doing something a little different when it comes to prestige skins. I think I'm going to talk about Spirit Blossom Teemo and the prestige version at the same time. Because more often than not, when I do a video with a prestige skin in it, I get through the first entry and then I have to look at the exact same skin that has maybe one or two extra effects. But to be fair, I can only stretch that out so much in a script. So we're going to talk about them both at the same time. The regular Spirit Blossom skin is a 13 or 50 RP cost, whereas the prestige version costs either 100 prestige points or 2000 tokens during the specific event, which you can't really do anymore. So the Spirit Blossom skins are a fantastic skin line. They lean really heavy into the Ionian side of League of Legends, which is itself has a very Japanese feudal era inspired look to them, which always looks good to me. Teemo becomes a Tanuki or a raccoon dog, whatever you prefer. Look at these little bastards. I need 12 immediately for my mental health sake. He has a new straw hat and just a more feudal era Japan inspired look to him overall. His darts are now little wisps of blue energy with the normal skin and gold for the prestige version. Look, here's the thing about prestige skins. They sort of just take the spell effects from the normal skin that it's taking after and just makes them gold now with maybe a few extra differences here and there. One such difference is how different the mushrooms are. With normal spirit blossom, they look like magic mushrooms you'd see in some sort of spirit world. The prestige version, on the other hand, gives them a little flower on the top of them. Both of them, however, explode with a little Teemo shadow face thing similar to the little devil skin, but you know, less satanic. His blind changes to a similar but bigger version of his normal darts, and while blinded, the target has that cool animated smoky effect. I don't necessarily know what to call it. I refer to it as cell shaded smoke because it looks like an effect from either Mulan or Wind Waker. Pick your nerd poison with those. His W has him just run around with a feather on his hat glowing and leaving a spirit energy trail behind him. The prestige version adds some extra flowers behind him, which is strange that there's just extra effects on this. Not different, additional. It feels weird to me. Why doesn't the normal one get blue flowers or whatever? Now, I don't actually care, I'm just saying. His recall has him playing his flute while surrounded by flower petals, while the petal on his hat, oh, I, I guess it's a petal. Huh, how about that? The pedal from his hat turns massive and Teemo catches a ride on it back to base. And that's about it as far as new stuff goes. So we're actually going to rank both of these at the same time. Now, I do think I like the normal Spirit Blossom skin a little more, if only just because it's actually available to get. Prestige skins, on the other hand, are just kind of insanely difficult to get. And that does matter when it comes to ranking these. They have to be really, really damn good to beat out the skin they're glitzing up. So I think normal Spirit Blossom is going to go into A tier right between Bunny and Little Devil. And then the Prestige skin, I'm going to set it at the top of B tier. It's sad because whenever an event comes out, it of course has a Prestige skin. Sometimes there's even two. And about 20% of the time, it'll be for a champion I actually play. So, you know, I'll try really hard to get enough tokens to get it. And then I do get it, and that's great. But it's usually rare that I'm able to get it and something else. So these skins are essentially the cost of the pass for me, plus like, what, maybe 80 hours of League of Legends? Which can be hard sometimes during this crazy thing we all call life. So these prestige skins are usually going to rank further down for me, I think. Wow, combining both of those entries made talking about it kind of long. Oh well. Teemo's latest skin to be released, at least at the time of me making this video, is his Firecracker skin, a legacy skin costing 1350 RP, and it's a legacy Lunar Festival skin. What this means is that it will be available around January and February. It's hard to tell sometimes where Riot puts the cutoff for legacy skins such as this one. But that's when the Lunar New Year takes place, so that's what I'm going to go with. Now, if you don't know, 2022 is the year of the tiger, so naturally, Teemo is going to get turned into a tiger. 
n nope, nope, he's a kitty cat, but it's pretty cute. It's a funny expectation subversion, and it fits for Timo. I mean, just look at him. He has a fuzzy tail. How can you be mad at that? His hat has been replaced with a giant coin just sort of duct taped to his head. There's no way that's comfortable. His auto attacks are just kind of red now, but his Q, on the other hand, is a firework that explodes on impact. His W starts with a sound effect resembling a firework taking off, and he leaves more of that cell shaded smoky kind of effect I mentioned earlier after him. His shrooms now look like they're a dumpling with a fuse set in them, and when they go off, they have this impact that I really enjoy, complete with a bunch of fireworks going off and coins scattering everywhere. Really, really fun stuff. His recall is actually pretty adorable with him hovering around on a pillow while he catches a lucky coin that he then nuzzles up to. Now, this feels like some gaslighting manipulative shit, not gonna lie, Timo. I know you're actually a murderous sociopath who has like half the community convinced he's adorable. And Riot, these cute skins aren't gonna fool us. We're smarter than this. We're onto his game. Some of us are, anyway. This skin being a modern release has the advantage of having a bunch of chromas to it. I think Sapphire is the best one personally, but they're all pretty great overall. Sorry if I didn't talk too much about this particular skin. This sort of happens once I've worked on a single script for hours spread through a few days. I start losing steam and I just think to myself, God, I need this to be over so I can go ahead and voice it and then throw it in the editor. Oh right, I'm supposed to rank the skin. I think I'm gonna put it in A tier, right above Bunny Teemo. All right, Timo had a ton of skins to get through, I guess. I know A tier kind of looks a little top heavy, but for the biggest skin tier list that I've ever done so far, I'm actually not too disappointed with the overall spread of the tier list. I kind of err on the side that when I see a tier list, I want it to be spread out a little more. I actually almost dropped down Cottontail for that reason alone. But if I'm being honest, that tilt factor is just way too strong for me to have done it and felt okay about doing it. Overall, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. As usual, by all means, let me know where I went wrong in the comments. Tell me how dumb I am. Tell me where I'm wrong. Tell me what your own skin tier list would be, or maybe just your favorite Teemo skin. Up to you. Whatever you feel like you need to say in those comments, you go ahead and let me know. Now, if you've been here the last couple weeks, you know my schedule is a new tier list every other Saturday, with me working on getting it up to a video every single Saturday instead of every other Saturday. Did I say Saturday enough? I feel like it wasn't completely confusing. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It literally cost zero dollars and, and zero cents too. So that's two reasons right there to hit it. It also makes me smile. But you guys are smart. You've been around YouTube. You know how it works. Like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff that YouTube basically forces us to do. I, I say force. It's not like they actually have a gun pointed at my head right now that I'm looking at. Of course not. That would be ridiculous. Anyway, I've been Alex. Thank you for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.